A sugar daddy or a sugar bestie? Hmm. If I choose a sugar daddy, it might be someone weird. So, sugar bestie. Hello? Hello, I'm your sugar bestie. I'm here in front of your house. That was quick. Hold on. Hey, nice to meet you. Uh, I thought it was a girl sugar bestie, not a boy. <laughs> You're very funny. What's your name? My name is Amara. What's your name? My name is J uh, Chris. Are you sure about that? Yeah, my name is Chris. Okay, come on in. There's something weird about this guy. Oh, Amara, I bought you a MacBook for fun. I hope you like it. Is this for me? Yes, useful for you, right? Yeah, very useful. Thanks, Chris. Hey, Amara, instead of playing on your cell phone, you should go shopping. But I don't have any money. Calm down, calm down. Here. Okay, I'll go buy some stuff now. Hmm, should I buy a new Nintendo Switch or some new earphones? Her name is Amara, boss. She's very funny and talkative. No, don't come here now, boss. If you get caught, it can mess up our plans. Hmm, should I buy a new Nintendo Switch or new earphones? Her name is Amara, boss. She's very funny and talkative. No, don't come here now, boss. If you get caught, it can mess up our plans. So, did you find anything you like? I ended up buying these earphones. That's great. Yeah, um, I'm just gonna head home now. Okay, that's fine, but make sure you're ready by 7. There's somewhere I wanna take you. Where do you wanna take me? To meet a friend of mine. He really wants to see you. You know what? I can't. I'm busy. Don't be silly. I've already made plans with him. I can't cancel now. That phone call was weird. Is he working for someone? Are you ready to go? Where are we going? It's a surprise. Jump in the car. Amara, meet my boss. Hey, it's a pleasure to meet you. What do you want from me? Straight to the point, huh? Sure, I want you to work for me. How many times do I need to eat today? 50 times? My stomach's gonna explode. Whoa, why did you bring all that food to school? Because I have to eat 50 times today. 50 times? I only have to eat 5 times. You're gonna be fat. Why the body shaming? Class, in today's lesson, we're going to be learning history. Sir, can I go to the toilet? My stomach really hurts. You've been back and forth to the toilet like a hundred times today. That's because she wants to go to the canteen. Yeah, she was still eating at the canteen last lesson. Shut up! Sorry, Amara, but I'm not going to let you get any more toilet breaks. I've eaten so much food today. Only ten more meals and I'm done. Wait, the food ratio isn't meant to be spent. It's dangerous if you run out. You have to stop eating now. What? The food ratio above your head is only meant to be spent when you... A simple house or a luxury house? Who wants to live in a simple house? Of course I'm going to choose a luxury house. Wow, this house looks like a palace. Honey, what have you done? How come our house looks so luxurious? I got the option to choose between a luxury house and a simple house. And I chose the luxury house, mom. Whoa, this way I don't have to be ashamed anymore if any of our neighbors decide to come visit. Do you guys want to come mines after school? Of course, your house is so luxurious. I wonder what Amara's house looks like. I've seen it, it's really disgusting. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Why are you talking to us? What did I do wrong? You are wrong, because you're not rich. Let's go, Jenny. What? This year, our class sleepover is going to be at Jenny's house again, okay? I don't mind sleeping at hers. Her house is beautiful, unlike Amara's house. Guys, don't you want to come to my house? I'm having a birthday party there. In your smelly house? <laughs> it sucks. I don't want to come. I don't want to come either. It's dirty. But my house is not as old as you think. Don't lie. I've seen you go to your house after school. It looks really dirty. Enough. All right, Amara. I'll give you a chance. Everyone's going to your birthday party. But if your house is what everyone's saying it is, the sleepover will be at Jenny's house. Okay, sir. I understand. They'll soon know the truth. But I have to get ready before they come. I wonder what the reaction will be like. Oh my god, that must be them. I can't wait to see Jenny's reaction. Hello, guys. Whoa, is this really your house, Amara? Yes, sir, this is my house. I can't believe it, sir. I saw her once go home after school, but it wasn't to this house. Amara, is this really your house or are you lying to her? Of course not, sir. This is my house. Why would I be lying? I don't believe her. She doesn't want to admit that this house isn't hers. This house is too beautiful to be Amara's. Okay, I'll give you 24 hours to prove that this house is really yours. And if you can't prove it, the sleepover will be at Jenny's house again. Okay, sir. What happened, honey? My classmates and my teacher think that I'm lying about this house being mine. 
But why didn't you prove to them that the house is yours? How can I do that? You can show them the contract of this house, but the contract is still with your dad, and he's overseas. So I have to wait for him to come back? My teacher only gave me 24 hours to prove it, Mom. Your dad's coming home tonight. Don't worry. All right, Mom. I'm going for a walk. I'm so angry. Of course that house isn't Amara's, but she won't admit it. But if it's true that the house is hers, the sleepover will be there every year and not at your house anymore. Of course not. She's lying. I've seen her house. It's not the one we went to today. My dad's not home yet. Honey, I'm home. Dad, finally. Do you have the contract for the house? Yeah, your mom told me you needed it, right? Here you go. Thank you so much, Dad. This is going to solve all my problems. It's almost been 24 hours and Amara still hasn't proven that the house is hers. See, sir, I told you she was lying. If she doesn't prove it quickly, the sleepover will be at yours and she'll get kicked out of school for lying. I'm sure the house isn't hers. I have to show them. Sorry I'm late, sir. Did you bring what I asked for? Jenny, why did she come to school? I thought she wouldn't come because she doesn't have proof. Yes, sir, I brought it. Here you go. Good. Now, let's see if the house is really yours. Oh my god, so that luxurious house is really yours, Amara? That house is really Amara's? Yes, see, sir, I wasn't lying about the house being mine. Jenny, are you ready to leave school? Amara wasn't lying. I'm sorry, sir. Please don't kick me out of the school and keep the sleepover at my house. Because my house is still more luxurious than Amara's. Jenny, the sleepover was at your house last year. Your house is really luxurious, but Amara's is even more. But that was last year, sir. My house has changed. It's more luxurious now. Okay, students, let's go to Jenny's later to see the current state of our house. Okay, sir. Sir, can I go too? Of course, Amara. All students in class can go. I'm sorry, sir, but I don't want Amara to come to my house. What? Why not? You went to my house too, and I didn't care about it, even though you called me a liar. It's my house, and when I say no, it means no. Why doesn't Jenny want me to go to her house? What does she have against me? I feel sorry for you, Amara. Even though I'm friends with Jenny, I'm sorry. You don't have to feel sorry, Olivia. You know what? Just come with me to Jenny's house. If she says anything, I'll take the blame. Okay. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Olivia. <gasps> Wait, why did you bring Amara here? Oh, come on, just let her in. You feel sorry for her, don't you? Do you want to get removed from our friend group? No, Jenny, but... Hey, what's that noise? Can you guys stop fighting? Amara, come on in. Whoa, your house has changed a lot. Yes, sir, I hope you like it so that the sleepover can continue to be here. Okay, I've made my decision. This year's class sleepover will be a... Uh... Go to the past or go to the future. I think I'll go to the past so I can prove things which I regret. Okay, I still have a whole day before going to the past. I better get to school. Morning, Miss Johnson. Has Emma left for school yet? I thought we could walk together today. Emma passed away yesterday, but she gave me this letter to give to her teacher. I'm not going to have time today, so can you give it? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry for your loss. Of course I can take it. Thanks. Why doesn't her mom look sad? Okay, um, I better get going. So, I just need to give this letter to the teacher, right? Your friend Emma passed away. Wasn't Emma at school yesterday? She seemed fine. How does the teacher know? I haven't given him the letter yet. Don't you think there's something weird about Emma's death? Something weird? Emma was fine just yesterday. How did she suddenly die? You're right. I have to go back in time quickly to see what really happened. Hey Jack, you and Emily took the same taxi home yesterday, right? Yes, but she asked the driver to drop her off in the middle of the road. Huh? She asked him to drop her in the middle of the road? Yes. That's weird. Emily doesn't seem to be the person to leave like that. I'm going to the past. I have to find out for myself. Change face or change stomach with my soulmate? If I choose to change stomach, he might eat something spicy. Then my stomach's gonna hurt. So, I'll choose to change face. Huh? In three hours, I'll be swapping faces with my soulmate? That means soon I'll know if he's ugly or beautiful. Amara, I'm so sad. Why? Because I chose to change my face with my soulmate, but what if he's ugly? I chose the same thing, but at least it's better than swapping stomachs. Actually, I'm a bit scared. I wonder what my soulmate's face will look like. Aren't you ashamed of changing face with your soulmate? Your face is so boring. It would look ugly on anyone. I think I should add makeup on before swapping face with my soulmate. That way, he won't think that my face is boring. Okay, I'm ready. <gasps> There's five minutes left before I swap my face with my soulmate. Hey, Amara. Oh, hi. I chose to change my face with my soulmate. You also chose to swap your face with your soulmate? Yes, I'll change my face with her in two hours. Two hours? But 
The time above my head is different than yours. Oh, so you're not my soulmate. I guess not. Okay, time is almost up. It's time for me and my soulmate to swap faces. Three, two, one. I wonder what my strength is. Mom, I'm going to school. Honey, what power did you get? Every time I cry, it rains. Okay, then cry now. It's been two months without rain. I can't just cry like that, Mom. You're such a useless child. Why is it so hot today? Just cry and make it rainy. Mom, you think it's that easy for me to cry? No, but it hasn't rained in over two months. Babe, I brought this for you from the canteen. Oh, just put it on my table. Okay, um, did you need anything else? No, just leave me alone. As you wish. Why did he speak to me like that? Honey, me and your dad are going on a cruise tonight. No matter what you do, make sure you don't cry, just for tonight. Sure. Hey, babe. Sorry, but we have to break up. What? Why? How can you break up with me? We've been together for three years. Sis, why are you crying? Did you forget mom and dad are on that cruise? Calm down. It's just rain. They'll be fine. Relax. It's just rain. They'll be fine. Breaking news. A cruise ship sunk tonight as the storm keeps getting worse. A cruise sunk? The cruise ship was traveling from Dover to Spain. I hope it's not the cruise my parents are on. Sis, do you remember when mom and dad's destination was on that cruise? I don't know, why? Because there was a cruise that sunk. What did I say? This is all your fault. <laughs> Wait! Mom would normally have called by now. I'm starting to get worried. <sighs> just stop crying. Can you just shut up? You think I'm crying on purpose? Kids, school event cancelled because of heavy rain. This is all my fault. Can you just stop crying? You don't even know what I'm going through. Yeah, and no one cares what you're going through. Mom, come on, pick up. Just accept it. Mom and dad are gone. <sighs> mom's calling. I knew it. Hello? Hello? How come you have my mom's phone and who are you? Hello? Hello? How come you have my mom's phone and who are you? We need your help. Your mom and dad aren't doing well right now. They can't talk. What do you mean? What happened? We barely survived. We had to swim three hours for the nearest island. What island is it? Hello? No, don't hang up. How am I supposed to find them now? Who was that? My parents are still alive, but they're stuck on some island and I don't know where. Listen to me. You have to stop crying, okay? That's the only way you can help them out. I can't just stop crying. I'm stressed out. Just calm down. Everything's going to be fine. Just think of a good memory. Maybe it will help. It worked. It's sunny. Okay, now let's go find your parents. How are we going to do this? They called you, right? We can take the phone to the police and they can locate where the call came from. Okay. So, did you find them? Yes, they're not very far away. Get the rescue boats ready. We need to get them out as soon as possible. They must be dehydrated. Mom, Dad! We're so happy to see you, honey. Here, have some water. Wait, so you're not mad at me for crying? I mean, you could have chosen another day to cry, but no, we're not mad at you. We're alive, and that's what's important. Why didn't your sister come with you? We had a fight. She blamed me for what happened. Hey, don't be mad at her. She probably just did it because she was stressed out. I'll talk to her. Sis, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have blamed you. It wasn't your fault. No, it's fine. Thanks for the apology. How are you? I see you're finally happy. Yeah, I realized that I shouldn't waste my tears on someone that never cared about me. I deserve better. That's so true. I'm glad you finally realized that. Um, sweets aren't gonna make me full. I'll choose the potatoes. I have a lot of time anyway. Amara, give me some. What? No, get your own. Please, I don't have much time left. Okay, but only this time. A bike or a car? Of course, the car. I still have a lot of time, so... iPhone. I'll just go for the mansion. If my time ends, I'll just ask my mom to give me some more years. What? I only have one day left? I don't want to die tomorrow! I have to ask my mom. Mom, give me more time. I only have one day left. Sorry, honey. I can't. I barely have enough left. Hi, guys. You can't be a student council president anymore. Why? Because you only have one day left. From tomorrow, I'm going to be the new president. If I press one of the options, I die. But who knows, maybe it will give me more time. 
Well, I have to say my point, so I guess I'll stop for the day. That's fine, because guess what, system? I have a jacket, so I can happily walk in the rain. Amara, I don't think we can be friends What? Anymore. Why? Because you're greedy with your points. You never spend any, and you're boring. Excuse me, can you buy me a bus ticket? Where's your mom? Can't she pay for you? She's not here. Please, I need to get home. You're not going to go away until I give you the money, are you? Please. Fine. How much? 500 points. 500 tickets? Do you know what? Fine. Now get out of my face. <gasps> Thank you. No hugs, please. I'm home. Honey, you got this letter. Thank you so much for getting my daughter home safe. Here's a token of my appreciation. Look at how ugly I am. Of course I'm going to pick the beauty pill. Is that hard? The ugliest girl in school? Yeah, that's hard. What do you mean? Why is my beauty pill not working? Class, we all know there will be a contest for prom princess. Who's signing up? Sir, I'd like to sign up. Why would you sign up? You look like Shrek's daughter. I didn't just sign up. I'm also going to win and be the prom princess. Don't make me laugh. Let's bet on it. All right, let's do it. Whoever loses the bet needs to leave the school forever. Deal. The pill needs to load quick. Prom is about to start. Finally, it's time. Three, two, one. Sir, it's fine. She has unlimited breaths. <sighs> I'm still alive. How is this possible? Klaus, is everyone okay? Yeah. How did we survive? We were lucky I picked unlimited breaths. That's a lie. I'm the one that has unlimited breaths and saved us all. Sir, that's not true. She's lying. <sighs> well, if that's the case, let's do a competition. I accept. Whoever wins can prove that they can breathe underwater. And you can only do that if you've picked unlimited breaths. You both ready? Yes. yes. Okay, let's do it then. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Excuse me, do you know where... Do you have an access card? Access card? Yes, show me it right now. I'm sorry, but um, I don't have an access card. Only people with an access card can get in here. Please give me some time to go back and find it. Okay, I'll give you an hour. Huh? Only an hour? I mean, thank you, sir. I knew she was too scared to go to the bowels of the earth. Yeah, what do you think? No one dares to go there. Not everybody can. Only special people can go there. Mom, how come you're not at the bowels of the earth? I didn't have an access card. Why are you like this? Didn't I tell you to take this bag with you? I must have dropped it. Good thing they gave me another chance to come and get it. You should be able to take care of yourself there. I will, Mom. Please show me your access card. Here you go. Please come in. Welcome to the bowels of the earth. He's not even going to check my bag. Oh my gosh, it's so far away from the earth. Here's like 10 times more advanced. Is that a flying car? And flying animals too? Hey, I've never seen you here. Reveal your identity. My identity? Okay, one second. Whoa, you're from London. That's so far away. Anyway, we welcome new people here all the time. Where should I go? I wasn't given a map or anything. Everyone here is just staring at me. Creepy. Hey, my name's Aria. Hi, I'm Amara. I'm from Earth and I'm new here. Do you know where you want to live yet? No, I don't know how things work here. You can stay at my house. That way we can get to know each other more. Okay, sure. So, this will be your room. It's perfect. But, um, I just want to let you know that I can't pay you any rent. I don't have a job yet. You're a special person, so you don't have to pay. People here are so nice and friendly. Is that your bag? Let me pack it away. Whoa, what do you even have in this bag? What are you doing? Why are you touching my things? You're crazy. I need to get out of here. There's no way you can get out because I have this tool and it can remove doors in an instant. The door is back. Hurry up. Get out. Thank you for helping me. How did you get to the bowels of the earth? I told you, I come here often. I'm here to take care of my brother. Come with me, let me show you your house. Whoa, it's huge. Yeah, this is where you'll be living. I live just around the corner. If you need any help, just call me. Here's my number. Okay, thank you. A cockroach or a mouse? I hate cockroaches. I choose the mouse. But I wonder what it does. Oh, turns out I get a headband. Here's a water bottle. Don't take that with you to school. Mom, did you hear that? Hey, what? Hurry up, you're going to be late for school. Mom, how come there's a worm in the water? What? Luckily, you didn't drink that yet. Can this mouth headband talk? 
Maybe I'm just imagining things. I have to try it again. You're sneaking into school with us tonight, right? Yes, I'm definitely coming. Don't go. They want to trap you and hit you. Um, actually, I can't come today. There's this event I have to go to. Don't go to the event. Just come with us. We'll have more fun. I really can't come because... I already know your intentions. If you don't come, I'll share photos of you and your boyfriend kissing. Do you even have any? Yeah, I unlocked your phone, so I have a lot of those pictures. What? Why doesn't the mouse say anything? Talk to me. Don't worry, she doesn't have the pictures. The principal wants to see you. You wanted to see me, sir? You're causing a lot of trouble, young lady. What class will I get? Why did I get a letter and not a number? I have to fake it. Honey, what class did you get? Class 10, Mom. Well, class 10 is the lowest class. I'm ashamed. Really? If I knew, I would have changed the number to 1. What are you doing in this class? I'm in this class, sir. Your number's 10, right? You think I can't see? You can't be in this class. You have to go to class 10. Class 10? Yes, class 10, which is the lowest class, where the non-important students are. Hi, my name is Rosie. Oh, nice to meet you. Where's our class? Our class is that one, right next to the toilets. Why there? Doesn't it smell? Yes, but they placed us there, because our class is the lowest. Rosie, let's go find something to eat. I'm hungry. We can't, Amara, because our class is too low, so we can't buy food. <sighs> this is unbelievable. Hey, you, buy me a drink. Hurry up. Who are you? I'm Leah. In the school, everyone must obey me, including I you. I don't want to. You'll regret saying that. Guys, how come there's no one with class A in our school? Because it's very rare. Wait, class A? But I got class A this morning. Guys, I want to ask something. What does class A really mean? Class A is the highest, meaning that person will be the leader of our school. Seriously? Yes, there should be only one person who got class A in the school. But why do you ask? You're a class 10. You'll never be a class A. So I guess I'm the new lead after school. I have to show everyone. Guys, look at my neck. I got class A. Whoa, it turns out that Leah's our school leader. Huh, but didn't you say that only one person can get class A? Guys, look at my neck. I got class A. Whoa, it turns out Leah's our school leader. Huh, but didn't you say that only one person can get class A? Yeah, why? Because I have class A too. She's just lying. We all know she had class 10 earlier. Yeah, you're just trying to act important, but guess what? You'll never be. Yeah, we all believe what? Leah. She faked our class. Why don't you believe me? Because you could never get class A. Just look at you. Look, that's the girl who faked our class. Yeah, isn't she ashamed? She's still walking around with a fake A on her neck. You guys do know that I can hear you, right? I can't believe this. I don't have any friends left. They all left me because they think I'm lying. Don't worry. Everyone will believe you tomorrow and you'll be the new school leader. Can I really trust the security guard? Hey, I'd like to pay for this water bottle. Sorry, I can't serve you. Why not? You can't fool me. I know you got class 10 and you faked your letter out just so that you could be important. But rules are rules. I can't let anyone with class 10 buy anything from this canteen. Amara, you won't believe what just happened. What happened? They found out that Leah faked the letter on her neck. Because she got nervous and sweaty, so her letter started to fade away. And now she's getting expelled from the See, school. See, that's what I've been trying to say this whole time. She's lying. Sir, I was the one who got class A. How do we know you're telling the truth and not faking it? I can wipe it off and you'll see that it won't come off. Okay, fine. Here. See? Turns out you were right all along. Yes, we finally found a school leader. Sorry we doubted you. You have to get ready. Get ready for what? We're throwing a party because we finally found our school leader. Little tomato or adult tomato? Mommy, what does this mean? If you choose the adult tomato, you'll turn into an adult. If you choose the small tomato, you'll be I really forever. want to grow up and be an adult like you. Honey, wait. You can't eat that now. You have to wait 13 hours. Oh, I wanted to grow up quickly. Look, the nerd just entered our class. Why do you always wear those glasses? Aren't they too big for you? You can bully me all you want, but once I become an adult, I'm going to be really pretty. Wait, did you pick the adult tomato? Yeah, didn't you? No, we all chose the small tomatoes. This is so funny. When you're an adult, you can work as our babysitter. That's not funny. You're not the only one who chose the adult tomato. Really? You chose the adult tomato too? Yes. Who would want to be small forever? 
When we're adults, we can do whatever we like and we'll have our own money. I wonder what you're going to look like when you grow up. You'll probably look like a grown-up nerd. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure I'm going to look beautiful. You really think so? That's never going to happen. Class, for those who chose the adult tomatoes, the age will randomly increase. So, I'm going to grow older randomly? Yeah, you could either become a teenager, a mom, or a grandma. No, I don't want to be a grandma. So, if I eat this, I might go straight looking like a grandma. What should I do? Listen guys, you know how Amara and David chose the adult tomatoes? Let's steal David's tomatoes so that Amara will be the only one who looks old. Yeah, let Amara grow up on her own. Besides, she really thinks she's going to look pretty when she grows up. Let's prove her wrong. I have to tell David now. Where is he? I wanted to tell him, but he's not here. Is everyone ready? It's time for you to eat your tomatoes. I'm sure Amara won't be pretty when she grows up. Let's just see after she eats that tomato. You have to eat your tomatoes in a count of three... Two, one. So, this is how I look like as an adult? It's all because you ate the big tomato. <sighs> Turns out, I'm not a nerd anymore. But, where are my friends? Everyone who ate the small tomatoes are now in an orphanage. Huh? Orphanage? Yep, that's right. I, I can't believe it. They all made Dave eat the small tomato and now he's stuck in an orphanage. I have to help him. Use this tomato to help Dave. Is this a small tomato or a big tomato? It's a big tomato. Give it to Dave. Make sure he eats it within 24 hours. Otherwise, he'll stay small forever. Small forever? Yes, you don't have much time. Hurry up and get to the orphanage. Excuse me, may I come into this orphanage? You're not part of this orphanage, so you cannot <gasps> enter. But my friend's in there. I don't care. You're not allowed in. What am I going to do? I have to quickly give him this tomato. You have to be a part of the orphanage. How am I supposed to do that? Apply to be a teacher. Huh? Teacher? Yes. Okay then, I'll try. Hey, can I apply for a job here as a teacher? Oh yes, it just happens that this orphanage doesn't have a teacher yet. Can you start today? Yeah, sure. It's so dirty in here. Oh my god, is that the nerd? How are you so pretty now? You guys used to bully me at school, right? We're so sorry, we all ate the small tomato. Please, if you have a big tomato, give it to us. I'm so sorry I bullied you in the past. No, you guys swapped Dave's tomato to a small one. You're evil. I'm not giving you anything. Where is he? Hey, I know you have a big tomato. Can you please give it to one of our students? He hasn't been able to communicate with anyone ever since he got here. Not able to communicate? Who is this student? What's his name? His name is... His name is Dave. Huh? Dave? Do you know the name Dave? Can I see him? Yeah, of course. Follow me. I want to get married, I want to get married, I want to get married. Is he okay? Why is he saying that? He's sick. He can only recover when he grows up. Then what should I do? Should I give him this big tomato? I just remembered. He's actually allergic to tomatoes. So if you give it to him, he might die. What? This is all because they changed his big tomato to a small one. I want to help him, but I don't know how. There's nothing you can do. You just have to wait for him to grow up. Okay, I'm willing to leave this orphanage, but in one condition. What condition? I have to be the leader of this orphanage for one day. And why do you want that? Because there's something I have to do. Okay, I've been needing a break from this place anyway. So the leader of this orphanage left. Now we can bully Amara. You really think you can bully me? You still don't know, do you? Know what? I'm now the leader of this orphanage. How come? Since you all decided to bully Dave and give him the wrong tomato, you're going to have to clean up all his stuff and be his helpers for the day. Okay, we'll do it now. Good. You haven't given your friend the big tomato yet? Not yet, because he's allergic to tomatoes and he might die. Hurry up, you only have 30 minutes left. If you don't give it to him, you won't be able to save him. But he's allergic. Just trust me and give him the tomato. Okay. Hey Dave, you still remember me, right? Um, you're Amara. Great. Basically, you have to trust me and eat this tomato, okay? But I'm allergic. But it's gonna help you feel better. Um, okay.